The program was very insightful um, for, for speaking personally, someone who was looking to develop himself, improve himself and learn more about the entire board and governance um, aspect of, of, of business um, growth. It was, it was very, very instrumental uh, in just gaining that knowledge and shedding light on a topic that uh, you know, I, I, I personally did not uh, understand too well. Remember boards, their mandate is just you know, oversight, governance. They're not involved in today to day. But you find in many organizations where people clash between what's the role of management and what's the role of the board. So these programs actually brings it out clearly. Uh, most of the participants who come, come to try and learn how to make presentations to the board, prepare good papers, you know, the relevance is to ensure that there is good governance. And uh, for you to have good governance, it means that the board, board members have to have the right papers, the right information, not too much, not too little, but very strategic information that they can then use to make those strategic decisions. We've actually established two boards um, for Synergetic Energy Partners and for Drillmatic. Due to the transition, uh, we opted against a board of directors, but we opted to go with an advisory board, uh, which is, uh, you know, valuable advice uh, we got from Kellen, who was and who has been quite instrumental in just providing guidance and insights, even post uh, board readiness program. Yeah, so. Something about the SBS teaching faculty, you know, really, really stands out. So it would be amiss if I didn't mention that as well. Huh? So she's really guided us. Uh, we set up the two advisory boards, uh, each with a one-term duration from January this year to December. And we are planning to utilize that as our platform for, uh, you know, onboarding either senior executives or uh, board members uh, as we move forward. Yeah? In terms of creating the framework for that, uh, we've maintained the same framework you'd have for a board of directors, just with fewer uh, you know, powers uh, with the advisory board. Uh, so everything that we learned, we are basically applying uh, in the advisory board. I represent, I'm a member of the group board here, and also represent the group in the subsidiaries. So it was really an eye-opener for me, yes, having gone through this program. Because there are things that actually we learned there and I can see today how well I've been able or we have been able to, to deal with them. For example, alignment, which is very, very key in the board. Um, many times we all have brilliant ideas, but the problem is to get everyone to sort of have, having the same thought process or, the, or going the same journey with the same idea. And I think that is what really has helped me in terms of managing those boards. Because as a management, one of the key things is to ensure that you align to your board. The second thing, and perhaps I may have said it, is trying to shift the boards from being operational to being more strategic. And this is much more driven by what we sort of learned in, in this program is trying to make sure that management know their space. The board also knows their space. And this is what I can say we have really achieved since I attended um, this training. It's a fantastic uh, program. Uh, we even have a board simulation uh, session that's proved to be a good highlight because uh, when we do that, people can can practice uh, what it is to be in the boardroom, how to pre make presentations, the kind of questions to ask, the kind of board papers to expect, and they are able to um, critically look at those papers or even request for the relevant information.